Hello everybody. Welcome to the presentation on Frequency in Power Converter Dominated System. I'm Muhammad Habibullah, a student of the Department of the Electrical Power Engineering, and this presentation is the part of my master's thesis. The contents of the presentation. The presentation starts with a very short, little background. Then the presentation explains the three questions. What is the challenge? Why is it a challenge? And how could the challenge be faced? Finally, the presentation ends up with simulation and result. Short background. The conventional power generation systems are largely occupied by the fossil fuel. They are coal, oil, and gas. This causes the deterioration of the global temperature. That's why we feel the importance of the high penetration of renewable energy sources to mitigate the global warming. This leads to increase in the installation of wind power and photovoltaic, and the, at the same time, there is a consequent decrease in the system inertia. Now the first question, what is the challenge? Well, the challenge is the reduction of the rotating inertia. Here we see how the rotating inertia decreases over time. In this grid, it is largely occupied by the conventional generation system, and it has very high rotating inertia. On the other hand, this grid is largely occupied by the uh, renewable energy sources and it has very low rotating inertia. Now, our second question, why is it a challenge? Why is low inertia a challenge? Well, the reason is the increase in the Rokov because as the inertia decreases, the Rokov increases. Rokov means the rate of change in frequency. The power plant, if it is subjected to any transient event, for example, imbalance in the generation and demand, or any short circuit, or any outage of any generator, the frequency changes, either it increases or decreases. The rate of increase or decrease, if it exceeds a certain limit, uh, it needs to activate the UFLS, means under frequency load sharing, or it causes the distortion of synchronization, it also causes the angular instability. Now the very important question, how could the challenge be faced? The virtual inertia has emerged as the solution to the existing problem. The virtual inertia can be implemented in many ways. It can be using the group of frequency or the group of power or the group of voltages. Finally, the consequent, uh, the consequent virtual inertia is emulated. This virtual inertia can be uh, in, uh, emulated using many other converters. It can be VSM or sync converter or group control or VISMA. This is the typical uh, model diagram of a sync converter. Here it shows that depending on the decrease or increase means depending on the group of frequency, the consequent decrease or increase in the electric torque is calculated. And finally, the angular acceleration or deceleration is calculated. And after that, the, from the angular acceleration or deceleration, the angular velocity is calculated. And consequently, the voltage phasors are calculated. And on the other hand, on the other side, it calculates the group of the voltage and the consequent group of the reactive power and finally, it calculates the retort, the required reactive power to maintain a certain voltage magnitude. It also calculates the required electric torque. And this is how the sync converter works. This is the simulation on result. It shows how the frequency, the deterioration of the frequency is affected by the virtual inertia. This first graph shows the frequency drops to 47.73 Hertz. Uh, during the absence of virtual inertia. On the other hand, during the presence of the virtual inertia, the frequency drops to only 49.98 Hertz. This graph clearly demonstrates the maximum, the maximum rock of 0.163 per week per second is recorded without grid for the converter. And this is more than the maximum rock of 0.109 per week per second during with grid for converter. So, Finally, it is demonstrated clearly that the presence of the grid forming converter means the presence of the virtual inertia can uh, prevent can prevent the frequency deterioration. 
Thank you for watching the presentation.